It's been a very significant year for the Global Alliance for Public Relations and Communication Management, with the WPRF held in Madrid in September, when we had 65 countries represented and more than 800 delegates coming together to discuss communication with conscience. During the course of those deliberations, we looked at values, ethics, and particularly leadership in public relations. This resulted in the Madrid momentum, and what that will be is a resource bank for practitioners around the world where they'll be able to draw on the insights and expertise of other practitioners who are either in leadership positions or who are advising leaders from all sorts of different organisations. One of the other key moments this last year was the Credential Summit that the GA called um, in Switzerland in um, June. This gave us the opportunity to look and examine the credentials from around the world that are used to give people their professional identity and professional recognition for their skills and for their expertise. At the moment, a group of analysts is looking at all of the credentials programs um, that have been submitted for review. And when we come to the AGM in June of this year, they'll be reporting back and looking at a framework of knowledge and skills, competences and behaviours that may be used by associations when they're looking at professional development for their members. Additionally, we've held two association leaders workshops, which gives the leaders the opportunity to come and look at not just uh, the issues and concerns of their members in their own countries and share best practice with other leaders, it gives them some insights and some support when it comes to association management. In a year where we've seen many tumultuous events around the world, both man-made and also natural disasters, an organisation which brings together professionals concerned with developing understanding, building and sustaining the relationships that we need to keep that licence to operate is an essential part of our practice um, as PR professionals. One of the areas where the GA looks to recognise professionalism and good skills and competences around the world is in the Compre Awards programme and during the course of 2014-15 um, ANZ here in New Zealand won their second Compre Award uh, for the work that they've been doing for their organisation. ANZ along with other Compre winners were recognised at the uh, Madrid Forum and in the course of the forum or during the course of the forum they presented their case studies to the delegates so that they too could share in the insights and expertise that was being brought from around the world. Prins is a founder member of the GA and when the GA was launched in 2002 there were 25 members representing most of the major associations. We're now approaching 45 members and from that we represent in the region of 200,000 practitioners from uh, consultancy, in-house and also academia. In the coming year, GA will be undertaking an ethics review of the global protocol, which was one of the first things that was undertaken by um, the association for associations, and that's going to be a, a significant piece of work in the months ahead. As a founding member of the Global Alliance, Prince has been involved for many years now, helping to develop standards, helping to bring people together so that we can gain insights and also further the advocacy for our profession. The role that we bring to organisations is significant. Building and sustaining the relationships that we need to operate is critical, particularly in a world which is going through so many tumultuous times. Uh, there are many practical resources that the GA provides for members and their members and those include the landscapes, the gap survey, other research projects. Um, and in the long run, the credentials project is going to be something that's going to be of significant benefit, both at a global and a national level.